All right, so we're gonna look at our first video that kind of got traction on our YouTube channel, Okinawan Karate, the original MMA. So we're gonna go through this and do a little technique breakdown. So the first thing here, let's see if I can play it. So the first technique, all right, is that moving on Pasai, where it's kind of like an inside leg kick. So he has the hands out like this, and my hands, my foot's gonna kick my hand here. Usually in kata, when you make contact with your own limb, it means like you're either holding on to your opponent's limb. It's kind of like a helpful teaching tool, I guess. So uh, in the video, let's say Aaron has his arms on my shoulder here, and let's say all I'm gonna do is grab onto his shoulder myself, and my foot's gonna hit my hand here, right? So in the video, we showed one technique or one application of this where the, you, kick, you kind of shovel kick the inside leg on the far side here. Uh, one way to apply this when I do that is notice how I'm kicking his base away But I'm not doing anything with with my hands up here yet, right? So if I just kick his base away and I don't do anything with his upper body He's just gonna bring that foot back and he's still pretty much balanced, right? So you kind of always think about opposite directions So my hands here for a reason it's gonna be pulling him into me as I kick his base away and one thing too is you're gonna notice he's gonna be leaning forward and that's gonna allow me to start pulling him back down. So essentially making him sit down and, and take away his base and do a little foot sweep here. So I'm kicking as I'm pulling in and that lean allows me to kind of take him down over the top or take him down there. You got hand in hand here, like you're trying to get into a tie but he kind of pushed you away. You can use that same technique to, to get the ankle kick here, right? So I'm, I'm anchoring, I'm, I'm keeping him pinned here, keeping him posed away from me enough to, but I'm keeping him kind of rooted here, right? Because I don't want him to leave yet, right? So I have to hold him here, keep him rooted. Now when I start to want that, that ankle, I'm going to push, but I'm going to get my foot behind it before I push. So I shuffle, I start to push, and then I pick up his ankle, and I put it right into my hand. So if I'm here, I'm going to keep them here, meantime, so I can shuffle, then I start to push and pull them away there. Now at that point, when I've grabbed here, or even if I'm holding onto his neck or something, is when I start to push away from him right after that. So you should have taken foot. Yeah, so I'm here, I shuffle, push, ankle pick here. Now here, I, it's pretty easy. He's super off balance and I've been pushing far enough here that I can just lift up and I'll rotate the same. That's how I'm gonna lift and rotate. And that just dumps some pretty simple takedown. 